And joining us now from Lansing, Michigan, he is Michigan Republican Congressman Pete Hoekstra, who's ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Sir, good to have you with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. As we just heard from Bill, uh, all of these allegations coming out, and, and we're hearing that apparently there, there wasn't necessarily a connection, but that's not enough for people. Do you believe there could be some sort of a connection between BP, Libya, and the release of al -Megrahi? Well, sure, there is always that possibility, and this is why the government in the U.K. is going to have to move forward with an investigation. They made a terrible decision a year ago to release this guy. They, there was no justification for it. There was no rationale for it. This person was part of a, a scheme that uh, ended up in 270 uh, people being killed. So there's no rationale, a terrible decision by the government. This government in the U.K. now has to come back and defend it under these you know, allegations that there was an oil for release uh, deal made. I'm not sure whether, th I don't believe that that happened, mm -hmm. uh, but this government now has to go move forward and prove that it did not happen. Do you believe that we'll see the full results then of that investigation? Because if, if it does turn out that it happened, uh, clearly that looks bad. Uh, clearly. And so this is why the U.K. government, I believe, will be forced to do an investigation, why they will have to share that information with America, and most importantly, why they will have to share that information with the families of the individuals who were killed in that tragic plane crash. You know, we went through this with 9-11. The 9-11 families were a very powerful force in bringing about change in the intelligence community. They forced accountability. I think the same thing will happen here uh, with the Lockerbie bomber. Um, sir, I want to ask you now about a report in the Washington Post, a two-year investigation done about the intelligence community here in the U.S., because, of course, you're a ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, yesterday's report saying that the intelligence community is, is too big, it's too expensive, it's redundant. You say you agreed with that. Today, the paper is coming out and saying that contractors, which, as we know, are used across all levels of intelligence, apparently, who may not perform inherently government functions, do it all the time, and that what was a temporary fix is dependency. Is the U.S. intelligence community too dependent on contractors? Oh, I think, uh, again, the report uh, that came out today in the Washington Post, I think, is relatively accurate. And the intelligence community continues to be very, very dependent on contractors for some functions which you would believe should inherently be done by government employees. Is that some compromising the, the safety of, of, of this country? I don't, I don't think they're compromising the safety, but I think it's bad management practice. If, if, if practice, if these are inherently government functions, those functions should be done by government employees. They should not be done by contractors. It's just the most effective and the most efficient way to do it is if they were done by government employees and not by these outside organizations. Can I get a yes or no? Will that change? Uh, I think it will change, but it will change very, very slowly. All right. Congressman Pete Hoekstra, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks.